Get it insert corners, lad, and I'll cut it off. In and out a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Well done. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is pure luck that you come out in the mortar. Just got my Good morning. I've got my coffee. I've got my dinner. We're just missing the gentle giant. I think we've got some smoke alarms and a summer house to do um, for a regular client. So we're going to go and see them and crack on. Bit of um, bit of training in the morning. Right, let's go and have a look, mate. So we've got to do some power for a summer house. Clients have put in. We're not coming off of the main box here. We are going to come off of that socket in there. Because they only want, they don't want no more than 13 amps. We're gonna pop back entry out of a socket, put a few spur inside so they can isolate, whisk them on the outside, drop down, lift free slabs, dig up here, dig up here, bring the armoured, into the back here, up the back here hidden, and into a fuse board in there. Um, not gonna put an earth spike in because it's a wooden building. And we're gonna power a, I think we're gonna put a two inch trunk in or whatever all the way around, and then we can drop down to sockets and um, light switches and stuff with some plastic conduit. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that is, that is pure luck that you come out in the mortar but I did um, take the drill off of hammer so I didn't blow the bricks so we'll have to open it out a little bit but we might get a bit of 2.5 twin and earth in so we'll just put a whisker on there gland the armoured into there and then 2.5 twin and earth out of a spur inside so a double pole so they can control it um, just gonna have a little go at lifting these now where's your eye protection then? Come on, man. we've got it have we? you've got to see you working people say you ain't working <laughs> brow jesus that is hot but we've got our little trench trenched out it's not deep enough yet but got a bit of a bit of a root now look can i see only are you sweating yeah, but... no no oh, yeah, not as much I as me my did you yeah. that's what it is then look at mine look it's dry look at that it's like sopping james we need to go and get in the swimming pool <laughs> Right, we're going to get this cable laid in here now, backfill it, 
and then we'll come back to you. Right, give me a bit more, mate. That's it. Beautiful. Right, don't need to go crazy with this burying. Um, they've got a French drain here, so we've got to be careful. It's not that deep. And obviously there's no forking going on here. We're on RCD protection and we've got earthed armoured, so pretty happy with the depth. That just needs enough to come up to a whisker. How much you got down there? Loads? Enough to go up, yeah? Beautiful, James. We'll backfill this now. Um, you could put some tape on it, but I think it's bloody pointless. Uh, we'll backfill it and then we'll come up, up here, land into a whisker box, then go back entry into a little consume unit. Just some MCBs in it, one for power, one for lighting. Right, there we go, that's why you keep the turf. Looks pretty good. We're now going to get a whisker banged on that end, a whisker banged on that end, a single box cut in there for the spur, a bit of twin inertia through the wall, and then um, they're getting someone to backfill this at a later date, so we ain't got to get involved in that. Okay, there's our whisker SWA ready to be installed. I've put a banjo under there, I've got a gland through. Um, keep the continuity of the, um, keep the sheath earthed basically, in case someone does fork it, it will trip off. I'm now going to put another whisker box on the back of the summer house here on the cable up the inside whisker box up here somewhere we're then going to put a fuse board on the other side and then we're going to put a two inch trunk in around the top so we can drop down to where we need to come to there's our cable comes out of the trench cleated to the side Goes up to another whisker box, nice height, that'll pop through, go straight into a little consuming net. RCD protection's in the house, it'll just have MCV overcurrent protection here, but obviously we are limited to 13 amps anyway, so it's irrelevant, but you do need some way of distributing the power, so we're just going to use a little fuse board, and I will put another cleat in there in a second. How do you do it? Right, back from the shop, back from the shop. Uh -uh. We got... They only had two lengths of two inch trunk in, so we have to get some tomorrow. Look, I've got a new board, Wilex main switch, two MCBs to go in, cables coming back entry. Just there, we're going to put a little fire grommet on, like we've done there. Two fire grommets in the top to go into the trunk in, and then we can run our 16 amp radial out and then our 6 amp lighting circuit round. What's your song called? Five degrees in the breeze? Yes. Where'd that 20 mil cut go, mate? I'll put it back away. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah, go get it. Oh. You can get in fast. And the hammer? Uh, hammer's here. Number one. We've got two wee haws, haven't we? Yeah. So, what we're doing now, we're just drilling some holes in the trunk, and I've just marked through. I haven't put my grommets in yet. Uh, take it to you a bit, mate. Two holes, two twenty mil holes. Oh. 
That's it. That's the thing. We just create the we just create the title for the video. James gets injured in the summer house. Yeah. Chris has had enough and smacks him on the head. Right, we pick these. What's that? What is that? What the heck is that? Ah, that's the joint for the, um, the light. Sorry, the track. I, like, I prefer these saddles, actually. Um, I'm not too fussed with metal out here because it's a wooden shed, obviously. Use your, use your noggin, your login. Use your brain. But these look a lot better. Look, they just clip in. So just to get that perfect, so you don't want to drill the trunk in too close, just sit that first, mark it, and then that's where your... Um, that's where your... A uh, female adapter um, will connect your conduit up to the trunk in. Get your priorities right, mate. Get your biscuits. Well, I told you to be fucking No? Get where you are. I'm good. Mm. Right. Another top tip another from the top G. Mm -hmm. If you're buttoning up trunk in, look, put the lid on, a couple of inches over it and hold it for you, and then we just. <gasps> Right. You have to just push that back a little bit. Yeah, yeah sap coming out. Bit of sap, mate. Yeah, and we're just going to fix that bit. Come round here, get the multi tool. Mm -hmm. right, that's what we're going for. Got the laser up the centre of the pipe. Up centre of the pipe, two centre of the spout. Um, that's what we're going to do on all four sockets. Um, We've whacked the lighting track up quickly. That's lipsy free screws, nice and easy. We're gonna click some lights in. Four lights, raw lamps, and um, we've got smokes to do in the house tomorrow, upgrading all to Aco because they've got Dieter and they're absolutely poo. Um, so we'll be back tomorrow. Nick Dad. Doing your eyes, what's up? Stuff like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's what? Don't know. What did you say? Don't know. Tell me. It's like you're some old YouTuber. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're back day two. We were, um, we had to go to TLC in Oxford to see Harry and the boys, Scotty, top man. Uh, get some more trunk in. Look, we got some more two v two. We're gonna put that round high level, and um, we've just pulled two cables in. Yes, we don't in twin and earth because we're house bashers, and that's all we have on the van is twin and earth, James. Yeah. We could put in singles, but there's no no reason why we can't put twin and earth in uh, the trunk in and the conduit. So yeah, we'll crack on. James, we've caught you doing something again. Are you okay? No, I'm a bit Ill. Yeah, he's good. He's doing the sockets. Look, it's definitely a way to do a summer house. I think Luke Wichard did one years ago, and I thought, yeah, it's a great way of doing it. Um, I'm gonna stop the trunk in there, because I'm not gonna lie to you, that is a real funny angle. So I 45 it to the wood, that's nice and tight. I'm gonna bring my switch um, down there. We've got a socket to come down there, um, just like that. Uh, we've got the lighting track up with the spots. Um, yeah, so we're nearly there. And um, we've got one spotlight to cut in um, to there. We've got our JCC with a 65 bezel, fire guard. And uh, we'll come back to you when we're pretty much finished. I've got, just got you in frame, mate. Just? Yeah. Right, push that down for me. Down there, mate. Just a little. Oh, you've got loads to go. Go on. Yeah, it's just there, further. I'll put it back a tiny nail. Stop, push, push, hold on, hold on, back a tiny mill, right, push gently, just get to the finger, go on, push, no, I can't check it out. Push it up the joint, down, uh, up, sorry, pull it up, right, push it in. Go on, push, hard, go on. Okay? Okay. 
push it up gently, right push, 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 push. Keep pressure on it mate. Oh, yeah. This is pressure on it. Is that? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Push then. Push. Push it. You're not, it's gone up. From now. Go on, there you go. Go on, push. That's it, Barbara. Push. That's plenty. Right, get it in corners. Get it into corners, lad, and I'll cut it off. That's another corner. La la la. This is definitely a good way. Get yeah. wiring a summer house than it is. So if anyone's listening and you're thinking of wiring a summer house, do it this way. Do it this way. Alright, yeah, that's boom. It's lovely. I poke that up there now, in and out a couple of times. Oh, yeah, that's a bit too much, James. Go on, we'll do. Happy with that? Oh, that's lovely. Is it going in? Oh, she's flying. Because he's flying without wings. Let me take a selfie. That should be like a rat up a drain pipe, mate. They quite, they How much it. you poked up there? I have no idea, not enough to get to the top. Pull it back a bit. Come on. Why is it tight and twisted? Possibly. Uh, that's it. Go on. There you go. Brute force in the mate. The copper's a bit pointy. I might have got stuck on the clip or something. Done a little hole for the spotlight, so we're gonna wire that over the top, link it back to the trunk in, wire it back to the switch. Two switches, one will do spotlight out here, one will do um, the rail there. 